Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ninja Fishing Mac, and today uh, we're going to be doing a slightly different video. So uh, here we have a 3D printed Dicker Max. It's a German tank destroyer from World War II. Uh, it's 3D printed, and it looks pretty nice. And today we're going to paint it, right? So we're going to uh, just paint it. We're going to chip it. We're going to add details, and then we're just going to put it on display. And yeah, so. I'm gonna do a time lapse of me painting this, so yeah, um, see you in a time lapse. Okay, so we have painted the tank, and um, we still have to paint the tracks. Uh, so I'm just gonna let the top paint to dry. So yeah, see you in the next time lapse. Okay, guys, I have finished painting the Dicker Max. Now I just need to weather it. So I'm gonna use a dry brush and some v Vallejo Air Gunmetal, and I'm gonna dry brush this paint all over the model to highlight details and um, look like chipping effects so yeah here we go Okay, that's it finished. The 3D printed Dicker Max has been painted. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, it uh, it was pretty fun to do. So, um, I'm using a ring light right now. So, when I move it, I hope you see some... I think the camera should see it, but there's some shine coming through the model. That's because I made a chipping and like paint scratching effect. So... The silver bits that's the actual metal showing through so it looks like it's been battle worn and it looks like it's actually quite realistic looking so it looks like it's you know been in battle and in use and everything i think it looks really nice um i painted this in a very basic 1944 uh, cool gray paint scheme that'd be more of a actually i don't know if it'd be a 1944 paint scheme but somewhere around that era i used a humble 106 for the main body so this is a water-based acrylic from Humbrol, great company. For the tracks, I used Humble 33 matte black. And for the chipping effect, I used some Vallejo Air gunmetal. So I used this dry brush to achieve this chipping effect, and it looks actually very nice. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, um, more modeling content will be coming. I will be doing a full build video on... Um, this Airfix Zero, I hope you can see that, right? This is the Airfix uh, newly re-released re um, Zero. So I will be doing a build video on this, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see it, just subscribe and hit the notification bell. And yeah. 
anyways just if you enjoyed this video just like and maybe comment if you want to so yeah um that's all for this video peace out